To some people, it's the middle of nowhere. To others, it's simply called the Nevada Desert. Out in the desert past the state line. Either way, police are racing through this barren land miles from civilization. They're in pursuit of a stolen school bus that can be seen in the distance. At the wheel is a 15-year-old boy who's suspected of plotting to blow up his high school with gasoline bombs. When the plan fell through, the boy is suspected of using a samurai sword to commandeer this bus from the driver. The driver fled, and fortunately, there were no passengers on board. Now the kid is on the run from the Nevada Highway Patrol. Dust flies as the bus heads towards the California border near State Line. The teen isn't old enough to drive a car, let alone a bus, so the police have to be ready for anything. Normally, these would be perfect conditions for a pit maneuver, but this bus is too large. Troopers decide to consider spike strips. Police know his feet barely touch the pedals, and the troubled team swerves again and again during the dusty drive. Officers decide it's time to rein in the baby-faced bus driver before he or anyone else gets hurt. They lay down spike strips just before the next curve. The boy swerves to avoid the strips and sends the bus into a spin. With guns drawn, officers run through the dust toward the crashed bus. The kid isn't seriously injured, but the bus door is jammed. You can hear officers try to break in. Finally, they get to the kid. The desert drama finally comes to an end, but the boy's problems are just beginning. Inside his backpack, officers reportedly find ammunition and written plans to blow up his school. The teenager is charged with assault with a deadly weapon in Grand Larceny. If convicted as an adult, he faces up to 50 years in prison.